discovered a significant portion of the ordinary story. And um, now we know that Casper Darling has sort of redirected the sense, the, the research in the dimensional research department. It's like a new department he set up specifically after learning more about the projector. So that's likely where we're going to be heading next. Um, yeah. So uh, we don't really know where this is. I, I imagine um, Polaris will help us locate it. So we'll just head to the research department. Uh, one of you suggested that uh, I'll get a new outfit from the department near where the mirror was, I think. So I might just head back there quickly. Uh, if I can remember where that was. Uh, that might have been in research as well, to be honest, anyway. Um, we've got lots of other sort of... I don't know, it's, it's, it's difficult to tell with some of these quests whether they're just sort of collectible type style quests. I don't know how to describe it, but um, we need to go to research either way, I think. Yeah, so um, I think it was here near the ritual division. One of you said there's a mannequin. Or was it near the Luck Lab? They're all quite close by anyway. And I'll have a look at the map when we get there. Uh, sorry for miss... Uh, the there was no video yesterday. Uh, hay fever just nailed me, so for a few days... You know, I had some videos backed up. Oh, hey guys! But um, yeah, I was just sniffling all over the place. That might still happen now. I might sneeze and headbutt the microphone and knock myself out, but... You guys got it handled? Apparently. Yeah, because I seem to remember that when we were in the mirror dimension, there were mannequins, right? So maybe... One of them... Yes, yes. Interesting outfit. An asynchronous suit. I like the sound or look of this. Right, so yeah, where we want to go is, is in near central research anyway, so. What we'll do is we'll just run back to... I don't know why we can't change outfits at every control point, it's a little silly. But uh, I'm just going to go and slap this new outfit on. Because I want to look cool. And the other two outfits we've got have not been, to my tastes, the like inmate pajamas. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to dab from time to time here. Please be good. I love a cosmetic. Oh, yes, very futuristic. Oh, we got cloth physics. Oh yeah, yeah. I dig it. Gotta love cloth physics, man. I like it. Right, so, um, central research. Probably the best place to start. What would be the best way to get there looking at the map? Tough to say, is that... But we'll figure it out, I guess. I did try out the cutscenes in the... in the menu, and the V-Sync problem hadn't reoccurred. Enemies tend to spawn here. Nope, alright. So it's near a stairwell. Oh Jesus, yeah, it's over there. Hey guys! <laughs> Stop! 
stop it! At least they can't talk back. It's good to be back. Right, yeah, this is where Darling's office was, sure. Of course, my personal mods are full. Told to say that. That really works, huh? By um Did Artie tell us to do that? We have already been in here. I've been feeling questions recently regarding HRS. What are they for? Do you always need to wear them? Look at that reflection. Ray tracing, man. Ray tracing is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Look, yeah, no screen tearing. Listening to your conversations while you're wearing them. We do that anyway, yeah. And the random bodies just floating everywhere is scary, right? This bit in Central Research makes you feel like you're close to the outside, even though this is probably some sort of weird artificial sunlight. Right, dim damn it. Dimensional research. Oh, we got some of the big, thick doors again. This is my favourite outfit, I'm liking this. I love this bridge section. Whenever we, whenever we're here. Labyrinth. And never pass through. Dimensional research. Every measure of security. So Trench couldn't get in here. There's always something so awe-inspiring about like stone that's cut so large, sort of like that, the whole mystery feeling around like pyramids and Egypt and some of the Aztec stuff and you know that's just on such an unfathomable scale given the time period it was built in, right? That gives it such an alien quality. Right, let's check the alternate, the long version of that. It was Ashtray Maze, yeah. But well, now the screen tearing's back. I'm averse to using objects of power. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't. Sorry, sorry, I just don't know <laughs> why it comes back. Like it was, like in Darling's office, that would have been like a video, obviously, queued up playing on the projector and that was working. And I pre and like for like the minute before, I will have cut the minute, the minute of the recording off, but it was working fine as well. So I just don't know what triggers it. It's bizarre. I'm averse to using objects of power. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. 
But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder, and those the binder invites, can ever pass through. The things we hid in dimensional research, the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. Lately, I've started to think I should revoke that license. Mm. Well, I was talking to one of you in the comments about yeah, just the, how they've treated people in the prime candidate program, namely Dylan and Jesse, or m mainly Dylan, obviously, but Jesse to a certain degree, if they would have got their hands on her. But, yeah, just to do that to people, treat them as lab rats, like, you would have thought someone would have had an issue with it. You know, you, you can you can understand there being one rogue scientist who foregoes all semblance of ethics and everything, but a whole group of them starts to feel like uh, something is wrong with them, right? Oh, we're getting very 70s. And there's Polaris control point. Oh, copyright claim. <laughs> Can this place have? We need to find Artie. Okay, uh, this is probably like an endless corridor or something, but let's just check it out. Scared the bejesus out of me, man. Okay, starting to feel like I've made a mistake coming in here. Right, it's just a loop. Right, we need to go and speak to Artie, which I think we did in the last video too. Back to maintenance. Oh yeah, there was a room I didn't get into by the coolant pumps. What was the easiest way to get to RT? Ventilation? I think this is where the uh, security guards were. <laughs> Are there still soldiers here? Yes. Don't feel like this is the right way. <laughs> no. 
How did I get there last time? Honestly. Yeah, not over there. <laughs> Itching for some real action. What? Jenkins? Enemies always spawn over this way. How could I forget the way? Let's try this way. Sorry for all the fast travelling, didn't plan on. Obviously I didn't know we were going to have to come back here. <laughs> yeah, this is where, where we should be. Too bad. The combat just flies by that quick, man. Like you have to have like preloaded strategies in your head, otherwise you just end up button mashing. Oh, search the janitor's office for information on where he's gone. There's no more. Where is he? Painted world. Now this boy left, said the son of Anniki Tahti. My assistant will keep work in the club and the house standing. Lobby lumps, holiday humps. How can anyone even get out of here while the building's sealed? Let alone go on holiday. Follow his visions. This is where we fought the goo, isn't it? Down, big man. Right, that's where we're going. of broken bridges. My uh, screen cut out then. What the hell's going on? Weird. My monitor, sorry. The Monitor with OBS on didn't cut out. Wow, what the hell? This is the security bit that's next to it, maybe? I 
Thank you, Artie. Oh, right, okay. I feel like we've already been in here, but... Nothing? Furnace complaints. Why aren't we allowed to burn outdated paperwork in it? Seems like a waste of a perfectly good fire. I'm just trying to save you a few bucks and a lot of sweat. Usually the people in suits appreciate that, right? What is the furnace even heating and who's in charge of it anyway? It's always lit but I never see anyone tending to it. And the noise it makes, isn't it a little, I don't know, off? I mean, I can't be the only one who hears that weird wheezing or whatever it is. So much to take a look at that thing. Might be time for a replacement. Well, the woman who said it was a lie sounded a bit delusional, so maybe it just has like a hypnotic effect that makes people like jump into it. <laughs> that mold. is shooting at me. Blimey. Some bastard shooting at me. Great, more mold. Two for one. I do perhaps need to explore vertically a bit more. I need to try and use this slam attack as well. Oof. That is satisfying, right? We need to get over there. Go the long way round. So we're by the coolant pumps, so the mold has found its way here too. Obviously we knew that there was some mold emission connected to RT. Right, so this is above where we were last time. Simmer down. Okay, fair enough. I will obviously pull the cord. I just wanted to see exactly where we were. Right, so when we would have come past here, I don't think this was open or we didn't have the jump, the uh, floating ability, flying ability, whatever you want to call it. There's a period without me talking, but just because I'm trying desperately hard not to sneeze. Alright, I'm going to talk constantly in case the music comes on again. But I don't have to edit the video. 
So that's a Finnish news report or something. Right, so we need to make the rooms match is the usual puzzle, right? Okay, nightmares. Helsinki. Then all the radios on, I guess. The puzzles in this section feel very Alan Wake. I can't put my finger on it. Because, you know, there's no platforming, there's no combat. It's just like... Yeah. No goo. Plates. Right. Do I need to ding it again? Ah, the ja oh, the obvious janitor's closet. Oh no, we're in the Black Rock Quarry again. Ability points. So, when we left this place, a lot of tough enemies spawned, I seem to remember. And Albany, somewhere. Where's Albany? Albany's in New York, right? How do I know these things about America? <laughs> AWE number 29, event summary. A response team was dispatched to a possible AWE in progress at redacted in Albany. At the scene, the team encountered and retrieved AI-63. Event response. The Bureau had discovered numerous online message boards regarding loud noises coming from an abandoned shipping warehouse belonging to the redacted corporation. Local law enforcement had discovered numerous bodies in various states of mutilation in the vicinity. This, along with noises, were considered to be evidence of a werewolf due to the fact that they only occurred on the last three full moons. Field Agent Redacted accompanied a squad of Ranger trainees to the site as a form of field training. The likelihood of a genuine AWE was considered low. Despite this evaluation, the team encountered a highly volatile altered item which they successfully retrieved. Interesting. Volatile. Great. I love this place. Excuse me? Are they fighting each other? No way. We can probably platform across, right? Follow the light, Alan Wake style. Yeah, the, is the draw distance screwing it up here? No, no, no.
I do wish that in game, I don't know, it's, it's, I guess it ties in with level design, but that walking would be the default way to explore open world or pseudo open world games. Like if they could just get the, the pace just about right. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, um, I just feel like you wouldn't run around. I just feel like you'd be a brisk walk unless you were in direct combat. You saw me. Their unkillable hiss. That sounded quite close. Suck it, I'm out of here. I guess we gotta go down. Is there a bouton? Absolutely not. Restricted area. Oh god, what's that leg spike? That's one hell of a descent. Right, we've got a hiss security guard up here. Cable cart control. Man, the, the ambient atmosphere in this game is just on another level. really special like it's so difficult to create this kind of atmosphere with like mostly empty areas right I know the enemy's going to show up and stuff but it's such so difficult to do right Sorry, Jeff. Come on now. If I got a better vet version of that. I gotta keep that damage against armor. We need to summon the cable car, I imagine. Point defense. Down, big man. Oh, I like feeling overpowered. I love feeling overpowered. Merely with the with the double. enough thank you very much yeah 
you rocket firing bastard. How dare you! Infinite respawns, what the hell is this? <laughs> Damn it, RT. Look at this, like an endless forest of columns and pillars. Nowhere. Everywhere and nowhere. Everything, everywhere, all at once. If you guys haven't watched that film, you need to. Really good. This place seems quite secretive. I wonder if the Hiss made it over here. On mapped area. This is very Alan Wake, right? We had a cable car in that game when it got knocked over. I look like Rudolph. Sanker in Tango. Okay. That's probably a copyright claim, mate. Right? up ahead. Do you see it? Yeah. It's a lake. Like a lakeside. Plastic tree supplement. Holiday memories tree. Supplementary materials excerpt from Altered Speech of AI-14 by Dr. Theodore Ash. The results are incredible, but more so the speed of discovery this allows us. AI-14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with esoteric texts from the early days of the Bureau. We found that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested this specific string of words, a formula if you will, on other altered items kept in the examination hall. Varying physical responses were recorded with each one with an 82% success rate. It's pretty high. Very high even. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored, possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward, and to think, there are still more words to be found. It's coming into focus. No, not really, actually. <laughs> we 
We have to. Yeah. Uh oh. Is he going to be annoyed? Getting a bad feeling about this. Adi? <laughs> Did you miss me? Did you have peace in your shop? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Park don't make a wound. You did good. Take my cassette player. You can borrow it. The okay. song is a present from my friends to you. It will get you through the maze so you can do your job. Sure. Did that really just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. What an interesting fellow. It's like we're just uh, pawns in his little game that he's observing. Right, we've got some ability points. Uh, I don't want to be full victim to spamming our launch damage, but we have specced ourselves that way. And we sort of do too much damage to use C's generally. And the fights go too quickly for it to have much utility. Don't want to sneeze. All right, just had a little sneezing fit. So I'm gonna get some more help. Still don't have this house memory. I don't see why we couldn't just have all four weapons equipped at all times. Seems a bit silly to just have two. But well, um, maybe that's just me. Sorry, all five weapons, not four. Right, they're just that like, you know they're all variants of the same weapon right there's no like like there's n nothing holstered they just transform so like why couldn't we just have all of them to freely switch between seems a bit strange to me can't upgrade the mods yet Alright, uh, so we are heading back to the ashtray maze. It'll be a long way to walk back, that's for damn sure. Okay. Sidetracked a little bit there. Hang on, let's just wait for the textures. There they are. There they go. Have you got your face yet, Jesse? There, there it goes. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know how much of a claim this is. Take control! Surprise! Oh, he played me. It's like we're playing Hades now. <laughs> My armchair. I wish I 
<laughs> this is awesome. This is a real change of pace. today. How dare you get that close to me? Oh, you scared the bejesus out of me, man. Get out of here, Stuart. Awesome how they like sort of timed it so that it always kick in at the right battle spots, right? <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Rock and control. Projector. The expedition into Slidescape 36. What Darling brought back changed everything. Hmm. Yes, the screen tearing just comes back for no reason. We used the slide projector. 
Right. I led the expeditions into Slidescape 36. They told me not to go. The director should not put himself in danger. I told them to fuck off. I've seen action before, and I had to witness this myself. To find some meaning in all of this. I couldn't sit on my ass. Alone with my thoughts, my memories. Anything but that. Those who survived were deeply affected by what we found there. Mm -mm. By what Darling brought back. It changed everything. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing remains to be seen. But I did find my meaning in that desert. In the desert? A sound, like a needle drilling in, cutting through the containment suit, reverberating in the base of my skull. My whole being. Darling said it was nothing. But he was wrong. It's been there ever since, growing into a certainty, into an understanding of what's at stake here, what kind of a threat we're facing, and what must be done to stop it. Right, so it's becoming clear that he probably knew that he killed himself because he knew that a more capable director was on the way, perhaps. I.e. Jesse. God, my nose hurts. Right. <sighs> Wow. Welcome to Dimensional Research. Janitor's complaint. Has anyone else seen that janitor mopping up around here? Isn't this a restricted access area? Who gave him permission to come here? And how the fuck did he get through the maze, Dr. Tan? started in ordinary ends here you me dylan we've all come full circle hmm. so what exactly are they observing in there that trolley or the speaker or s i don't know what it is yeah same in there maybe there's just nothing That's strange. Now this one's different. This is like the chairs that they tie people to. Sand memo. To all dimensional research stuff, I've heard that numerous people have been claiming about the sand piled up around dimensional research. This sand is precious research material from a foreign dimension and will be examined more thoroughly when I have time. If you attempt to clean or dispose of this sand, I will bar you from any future research endeavour. You will spend the rest of your career licking envelopes in a cubicle staring at a cat poster. Do not touch my sand. Right, so Dr. Darling has gone over the edge. <laughs> Don't touch my sand. It's red sand. Doesn't bode well. Blood sand. Huh. Curious. Right guys, I'm going to have to end the video there. Um, awesome. Really fun. That mu the, the whole section with the music, finding Artie in that sort of forest area where he was clearly away in another place. And him as a just a, as a being or an entity is, is fascinating in and of itself. Darlin's lost the plot, clearly. And uh, we'll head further into dimensional research. Where I expect things are going to get extremely weird. Weirder, that's possible. But we'll pick it up from here next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a... Oh, hold on. Thumbs up if you did. Just remember, everyone. Never trust 
an uncrate. I'll see you next time.